In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get into advanced blueprint modding. And this mostly entails the dummying part. So this is basically dummying references to um, assets in the game itself. So instead of making new stuff, you can basically use stuff that's already in the game. Um, just basically hooking off thing and using and all that stuff and setting variables and all that lovely stuff of things that are already in the game uh, so you'd have to make them again yourself. Now um, a prerequisite to this tutorial is well of course the basic blueprint modding tutorial and also before that uh, and also the um, uh, cube VR modding template so you need that template project as you can see here, we have all the C++ classes automatically generated for us. So we don't have to dummy any of that stuff ourselves. So I don't need to explain to you how any of it works because it's all abstracted away from you now. Um, you can just access them as they are. So um, first things first, um, I'm going to just use a basic mod um, example. This is just going to be uh, making animals big, as you can probably remember. I my, if, if you've seen at least, I've made a mod which basically makes animals big. Um, it's quite funny. Um, so first I'm just going to make a mod. Just uh, quickly. I want it to only spawn in the world. And I also want tick to be every 10 seconds so or something like that so it doesn't run every tick um, to resize all the animals and of course to run it so basically we want to get all of the 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 animal actors and we want to set their size so get all actors of class and we need to um, basically make the deer blueprint um, so how do we do that well first we need to know what their name is uh, so we can find out their location. Um, so if I do that, we can see here that I've got the C++ header dumps um, of the game. And there's quite a lot of them here. But um, the main sort of two sections of files you need to know about are the kubevr HPP and enums HPP. So this has most of the C++ classes sort of in them. Um, and the other place sort of section is like the actual the ones that like have like BP in them like chest actor or something um, so you can see that here there is one called DSC and this is the this is the blueprint that we want so uh, we can see it's a blueprint because it has all of this k2 node stuff this is all and uh, execute uber graph so this is all like the actual like the the, the blueprint graph stuff. Um, now um, you can see there's functions and variables we could call them and set them and all that stuff. Uh, one of them here is is killed so this is the thing you know when you shoot a deer with your arrow your bow and arrow it'll you know do that animation thing where it like shoots into the sky blows up and then falls the rag doll falls down and goes everywhere it's quite funny. Um, we could just call that or whatever this is, makes an elephant sound. Um, so um, also for the other animals, geckos and rabbits, uh, gecko inherits from rabbit and rabbit inherits from deer. So we actually only need the deer um, because all of its children classes will also um, follow like the, the, the get types of class will get all of the children actors as well. Now, um, if I, uh, yeah, so we the next thing we need to do is find the location of the asset. So if I open this, close that, we can see here that um, we've got our unpacked files here from the Unreal Packer. So again, the, the links in the description for the tool for this. And we just yeah navigated to it. So this is every asset in the game is all unpacked stuff. So we know post process manager is just in the root content and like 
mining damage tables and content stash tables, all that stuff. So the animals, the deer is inside here, although for some reason I can't explain right now. Um, the deer BP doesn't show up here for some reason, this seems to be the only asset in the entire game that does this. Same with the uh, same with oh, the, the, the rabbit and the gecko are meant to be in here as well, but they aren't, not sure why. Um, but what you can do is you can ask stone brick um, where the, the like if you're if you're asking like one thing I ask is like oh where's the where's the VR where's like the the hands blueprint stored and he said oh it's inside first person BP blueprints and it's like called hand VR hand fingers or something like that and it's there um, so you can just ask him and he he will tell you. Very happily. Um, but anyway, if we now. So we know it's inside the animals folder. So if I go back to Yui and I go to animals and then deer, we now need to make a blueprint class called deer. First, we need to inherit from that C class, deer C. Now, you can actually inherit it from actor, but. Uh, and it will still work. But it's good practice just to inherit it from your most recent parent. Do so that, and we call it dear C. Um, now we don't need anything inside of this because, you know, we're just getting a reference to this asset in, for the actual game itself. Uh, if we wanted to use that elephant sound function for whatever reason, we can do this. Don't need any code in it again. And when we call the function from our mod, you're basically again creating the reference, the function inside the actor, and it will actually call the function in the game when the mod is loaded in the game itself. Um, this is true for anything, so any macro, variable, event dispatcher, function, component, everything this will work for. So it's extremely powerful to know you can do this. Um, so you close that. Um, oh, another thing to note is do not pack this with your mod. Because when your mod will get loaded, it will probably replace the one in the game itself or something, and it will cause it to crash, um, or whatever. Even if it doesn't crash, you know, it will be unintended behavior, um, cause problems. So just don't pack it. Now, back on your mod, we want to select the DSC actor, and again, um, the gecko and, and rabbit inherits from it, so we only need. Just this, and the children would do it as well. And I believe it's like set actor, yeah, scale 3D. And I did put the D in the right place. Yeah, I did. Um, we're going to split that, and then we're going to get a random float in range between like 0 0.5, so half size and like 30 times size or something up seat like that. And we just want to make it a uniform scale increase on all three axes. So we just do that. And again, this is every, yeah, every 10 seconds. And if I quickly show you that, you can call that set elephant, no, what's it called? Elephant sound, sound function here or whatever and put it in. And again, that would call the elephant sound function inside there, but we don't want to do that right now. So yeah, that's just the, the mod. So we need to go back to big animals. Where is it? There it is. And we need to assign to chunk, I don't know, 12 or something. Save all. And package project. Delete previous one. There we go. This will be done pretty quickly. No. Yes, we, we have that shown. Again, if this is a um, template project, this is the first time you're packing, it will take a while because it has to, re has to build all the modules. Um, but after that, you won't need to do it again. It will just take them a lot of time, which is that time. Now, we right monitor, close this. Um, here's the pack, uh, pack stuff. Here's pack drop 12. So I'm actually leaving this mod here because I need it 
to get around this this is my mod that adds sort of like a free cam mode for PC I don't have VR um, um, but we need to yeah first make the name big animals let's go v1 and then we need to drag in this and now I will close that and hope that the mod works uh, but yeah, this this mod of course will work in VR as usual, like standalone. You don't need that that free cam. This is just for so that I can get around in non Steam VR mode. Um, I'm gonna just load a world like uh, this one or something. Yeah, sorry. It's about the sound. I do have a bug still in that 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 free cam mod that because the the actual location is changing every tick. Um, it is, uh, yeah. Basically, um, what was I going to say? I forgot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, the mod's now loaded. This is somebody's world uh, that they uploaded to Discord so I could test something else. Now, if I yeah, go down, well, then let's go disco over there. That's kind of cool. Oh, and here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. We see what's... Oh, God. There's a lot of them here. Yeah, so every 10 seconds, you can see they're changing size to something random. Um, there we go. All, all the rabbits are changing as well. We can see it's a bit laggy now because, you know, 30 is big. Um, it's kind of quite funny, really. Um, what was my... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so yeah, and that's that's basically the mod. Um, I'm also going to show you something else. So uh, Stonebrick added very nice function in the C++ as a blueprint function library. It's called um, mod function modding function library. There's a few mods here, a uh, few functions here, which I requested to add. Uh, one of them is read string from file in mod folder. So what this will do is it will basically, if I show this and I close it, I can, what I can do is I can make like a text file inside here. And this will be like, I don't know, like science.txt, right? And inside here, what I can do is I can specify a size that I want to set the animals to. So I want to just set them to like five times size, not something too obscene. I don't want it to really lag in the video. Um, and then what I can do is inside the mod, so if I quickly close that, there we go. Inside the mod, I'm going to specify my mod name, which is big animals. Um, the reason you can specify the mod name is so that if you have like multiple mods that you're developing and you want to like share their configs, you could say, um, you know, if they have this mod loaded or whatever, um, you, we can get the file from there, like or something. It would be, be quite interesting, but what people could do in the future with that. But anyway, our file name is size.txt, and <clears throat> it will output a string. So first, we've got to convert this to float. Um, and I'm going to make a variable called like size, and this will be a float as well. And we can default is like one just in case. Um, and we say like is numeric, so just in case. Oh yeah, is numeric. Just in case the the user like in like inputs some text, just to be funny, they want to crash the program or something. Um, can do that check first and if it is then we can I like to be nice and tidy set the size so we'll drag this out set the size and if it's not then we can set size to like one or something now inside of this we then change size to this here we go So it's a nice simple mod to basically load the size from a text file. And also I want to change 
Oh no, actually, it doesn't matter. Because we're not doing it every 10 seconds now. So, uh, yeah, we'll repack the mod. And I'll just, I'll switch to the other monitor whilst we're waiting. So yeah, size txt is set to 5, so 5 times size. Alright, packaging is done. Put drink 12, chuck that in, place, and load the game up. These guys look funny. There we go. You can see um, Event Tick just fired. And we're uh, setting all the animals to ten times size, uh, five times size, sorry. So not too obscene. And if I loaded new chunks, whatever, and then the thing fired. Obviously, the <clears throat> all the animals in the new loaded chunks, there we go, get set to ten times size. And yeah, that's uh anyway that's that's it. So that's the uh that's like dummying. I'm just gonna quickly also show you oh whoops, I didn't mean to press that, that's probably Oh no. Ignore that. No, we're not going to space today. Anyway. Um if I quickly hide this And I just open filters, blueprints, yeah, middle monitor, yeah, okay. So this is uh, my current like modding product uh, project. Sorry, um, uh, this is where I'm making my free cam mod and everything else. You can see here we've got a few dummied um, blueprints. So like we got a we got a dummied compass here um, because I was trying to show the compass doesn't work right now. Uh, there's the first person character. There's that for your hand fingers blueprint I was talking about earlier. And inside here we've got uh, we've got a rigid interaction component that I've dummied. We've got this falling active thing that I've dummied. So it's all good stuff. What have I dummied in here? I don't think I've actually dummied anything. No, so you didn't need to. Um, which one is this? I just want mod underscore PC movement. And yeah, uh, you can see I'm doing some stuff like I know where I'm doing the widget interaction. I'm getting the actor first person character. I'm getting the the widget interaction thing that I dummied, and I'm using that as a target for something. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is basically the mod. Uh, sorry, the 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 tutorial. Um, you can obviously apply this to everything else. And again, if you find something in the C plus plus class, um, it's just automatically in this template project because um, I didn't. You know, it, if you can generate it automatically, there's no point having to do it manually anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, you learned something useful from this, and uh, I'll see you in the Discord if you've got any questions. Thanks.